Hello and welcome to Make It Today. In this video, we will be going over what is a CPU and what is binary. A CPU is basically a calculator. A really, really powerful calculator. Here's an example. Now, disclaimer, this is very overly simplified. Here, we have King Curtis Paul Ulysses, or King CPU for short. King CPU is a very busy man ruling his kingdom. And he has another problem. He has a lot of allies in the region who want to be able to talk to him, and being a busy man, he's got to figure out how to manage all these incoming messages. He does have help, though. These are his helpers. He calls them his pins. Now, there's a problem with these pins. They have low IQ, and they can only answer yes or no or very basic questions. So how does King CPU handle all these incoming messages with helpers that are basically as intelligent as a light switch? Enter binary. King CPU takes his pins and he lines them up in a row. He gives each of them one light bulb. He then gives his allies instructions on how to convert their messages into numbers. King CPU then assigns each of the pins one of the numbers. He tells them that if their number is a zero, their light bulb needs to be turned off. However, if their number is a one, their light bulb needs to be turned on. He counts starting from the right. So for example, if the furthest right pin has his light bulb turned on, the king knows that is a 1. Now remember, light switches only have an on or off position. That means they can't have 2, 3, 4, etc. So in order to count to 2, we simply have the first pin turn his light bulb off, and the second pin turn his light bulb on. We continue this type of pattern by having the first two light bulbs turned on, which equals 3, and the third light bulbs turned on, which equals 4. Now, if you want them all to be zeros, of course, all the light bulbs are going to be turned off, equaling zero. So now we can take one of the messages from one of the allies and give it to the pins. In this example, there's eight digits, so we have to use eight pins. We assign them the numbers, and each of the pins turns on or off their light bulb, depending if they have a one or zero. We can then match it up to the list that King CPU gave the allies and find that this message equals A. Luckily, even though the system is very simple, it's also very fast. Now let's say the ally wants to send an entire word. They send the first eight characters, we match them up with our pins, we match it up in the list, and we find that it's an H. They do it again with the second message, match it up with our pins, find it in the list, it's an E. We do it again with the third series of numbers, match it up with our pins, find it's a Y, and now we have our message. And this is very basically how all of the computers in the world work, starting from the earliest computers to today. Whether it be the components on your motherboard sending signals to the CPU, or it be other computers in your region sending you information, it all goes through King CPU in the form of binary. So thanks to the brilliant King CPU and his pins, we now have the modern marvel of computing today, which is allowing you to watch this video right now. Thanks for watching today's episode of Make It Today. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up, leave your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe.